It took me three days to create 246 annotations and all 355 pages of Serum Tool Manual. But thanks to that, I can now share with you hacks without which your music won't stand out. Wavetables are building blocks of leads where a total control over the sound is crucial. For this plug, I want to use the Juno wavetable, but as you can see, I have limited choice of waveforms. To fix that, instead of choosing another wavetable, right click the wavetable position knob and click smooth interpolation for seamless waveform transitions. Sometimes the built-in Serum 2 arpeggiator doesn't work as you wish. For my lead, I set the oscillator a unison settings to get the laser zap effect in the beginning of each note. The problem is that this zap effect gets lost when I use the arpeggiator. Now pay attention, because the solution to that problem doesn't lie in arpeggiator settings. What you want to do is right click the face setting and check the face legato option to reset the face for each note produced by the arpeggiator. This hack will save you lots of time. My personal trick for harsh leads is adding a sub oscillator and distorting the whole sound. But since the low end pitch changes, the lead sounds bad. To fix that, in past you had to create a second synth channel for just the low end, but in Serum 2 you can right click the sub OSC tile and disable pitch tracking for the same effect. This tip will save your ass. I'm sure you had a problem where you were working on a sound or melody and after a few studio sessions you thought, actually the sound I did at first sounded best. If this happened to you, share your story in the comments. Now imagine you don't have any backup and you can't undo anything. This sounds like a big issue, but there is one more hope left. Near the Serum 2 logo, there is a waveform icon. Normally, it's used to export the sound you played last through Serum into DAW. But if you click it with left alt or option key held, it will open a folder with all sounds you previously exported. You must know this trick if you are using the sample oscillator. A powerful thing here is the scan knob that at the same time tells the direction and playback speed of a manipulated sample. I modulate this knob with a LFO. But even with the largest modulation range, the sound is still boring and that's a problem. What's the solution? Right click the scan knob to find the range control. Increasing it will let us turn up the playback speed even more. The oscillator B already uses that hack, making the same sound much better. If you want to save even more time, learn this macros trick. Normally, we control with them manually multiple parameters in Serum. My LFO already modulates the scan knob, making the sound intense at some parts. It would be great to turn up the effects mix knobs for extra emphasis in the same rhythm. A smart way to do that is to assign a macro to each mix knob and now look, I can track the LFO tile to modulate that macro, controlling everything with a single modulation. This is a must know for distortion freaks. Many filter types, including the scream, low pass, change the sound drastically with the drive knob. I want the distortion to sound different, but turning down either the drive or the oscillator volume will make the synth weak. If you guessed that, I will tell you now to right click something, you need to give this video a like. Right clicking the drive knob will show us the clean mode option. Turning this on will enhance the filter gain staging, giving us different filter behavior while keeping the full sound. How to gain more control over the looping that, as you could hear, is a powerful Serum 2 feature? Changing the sample starting point can destroy the rhythm if the sound starts immediately with a loop. To prevent that, check the relative loop option. To change the loop position, instead of tweaking both start and end markers, use the link loop lengths option. 
at last, if you click the exit loop on release, Serum will play the tail of the sample when you depress the key instead of staying in a loop, further enhancing the rhythm. The granular oscillator can add to any sample lots of movement that will depend on, again, the playback speed. Typically, that playback works like in the sample oscillator, which creates problems when making a pad sound, because setting the scan to zero will always keep the playhead at the beginning, limiting the number of sounds we could create. A solution is to open the playback options and choose the manual mode. Now I can adjust the playhead position to create many variations of the same sound. The last tip will apply to all three sounds you have heard. If you pitch the sound wrong, then no matter what oscillator you use or how many modulations you add, you will never get decent sounds. To make sure you are doing this right, watch this tutorial that explains pitch envelope, writing melodies and other tricks to make your synths more impactful.